Hello, it's Patrick here from the GarageBandGuide.com. Welcome to GarageBand Q&A, the video series where you, the viewer, get in touch with your GarageBand related questions and I do my best to answer them for you. I'll let you know how to throw your own questions my way at the end of the video. Let's jump right in. In the GarageBand subreddit, SilverClick asked, is there any way to change the automated drummer to play in halftime without changing the tempo? No mention if this is in GarageBand for macOS or iOS 13 slash iPadOS, but it's really simple on both versions. There's actually an option for this right in the drummer tracks controls. In GarageBand for macOS, if you have your drummer track selected and then open that tracks editor window, you have access to all of these controls. Good old Kyle here has eight different kick and snare patterns to choose from, one of which being a halftime pattern. This is the halfpipe pattern normally. And this is it in halftime. In GarageBand for iPad OS and iOS, it's exactly the same. You just need to select the halftime kick and snare pattern from the drummer settings in the same way. Great question, SilverClick. Thanks for that. From the comments section of my Don't Update to macOS Catalina Yet video, BKK Buzz asks, I'm on Mojave and I just want to know if you can just stay with that or is it compulsory to install Catalina? I'm happy with Mojave, I'm not a techie guy, but I just want to do things right for my computer. Great question, BKK Buzz. Yes, you absolutely can stay on macOS Mojave. In fact, if you're making music on your Mac and like BKK Buzz, want the best for your machine, it's become increasingly obvious as macOS Catalina has been released that you probably should stay on macOS Mojave for now. If you haven't watched my video on why you shouldn't update to Catalina yet, you really should watch it. It's, uh, it's really popular. Everybody, uh, everybody loves it. The main point is that most third-party companies producing plugins, effects, and virtual instruments are still warning customers not to update to Mac OS Catalina, at least until their products are updated to be compatible. Not many, or really any that I know of, have yet, so it's best to stick with your current macOS version for now. Finally, Owen Minaj has this query for the GarageBand community on Reddit. I would like to use a keyboard and mouse for GarageBand on my iPad for a DAW until I get a check for a MacBook and other equipment. Would this work? Yes, Owen Minaj, as long as your iPad is running iOS 13, you can connect and use a Bluetooth or wired USB mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard. It's just a case of opening your iPad's Bluetooth settings, making your keyboard or mouse discoverable, and then connecting. To use a mouse, you need to turn on assistive touch in the settings menu though, tap accessibility, then tap touch, then tap assistive touch, Turn it on and your attached mouse can now be used. Cheers for that, Owen Minaj. I wonder, are you any relation to... I'm going to say no. If you have your own GarageBand question, there are a few ways to get it to me. You can leave a comment under this video on YouTube, get in touch via the GarageBand Guide Facebook page, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I'll put links to all of those down in the description box below. I've been Patrick from the garagebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>